So, finally got it to work. Man, that was the most difficult thing ever. Chat window. Uh, no. Hey, looks like I'm live. <laughs> Alright, Overload, I see you. Yep, looks like I work. Perfect. Perfecto mundo. Here's what I've been working on all morning. There you go. That's what I've been working on. Making this is for oh, what is it? Credits for a video making <clears throat> trailer music, I would say. Making credit music. Making music for a friend with FL Studio. Sure. And actually what we're going to do, we're going to do this in Creative. Because if we do that, then more people should show up. To add some hashtags to your title. Oh, hashtag music. There we go. Shabam. Done. And just to make sure we're still good. Yeah, we're solid. We are live and running. All right. So first of all, I gotta change this up. I'm not digging the little. Da, da, da. Also, this kick has a lot of low frequency in the start of the song, so I'm going to change that as well. To EDM Basics. No. High pass. And then what that's going to do is, towards the beginning of the song, it's going to have no low frequency. And we'll give it some. It's always nice to have a little bit of kick. Kind of want to change this up too.
You guys can see where that's trying to go. So, ooh, no. Then we're also going to replicate this kick because I want to get some side chaining going. Can't remember where I saw this from, but I use it quite a lot. So six is not what I want. Yes, that is what I want. So kick. No, that's not what I want. Seven. I changed this up too, so I gotta switch it over to the new version. Ooh. I'm looking for. So we're going to add that to here. Open up my basic EDM preset. Add some reverb with a lot of decay.
So that's a little quiet. By adding some compression, you can raise that volume up. It's starting to sound like some Marshmallow remix. Da -da -da -da. And then also for the, oh, I see what I did. Um, you know, <clears throat> for this, we're going to add a low pass filter. She's going to make things sound nice. I do like that. No, not that. Um. Hey, there we go. I like that. Kind of a rush transition though. What we can do, which I actually got this from Netro Boomin in the chat. Netro. Uh, we're gonna take this, raise it up right there. A little bit smoother. Now we just need to add some white noise. Do, do, do. This is the exact way I do it every time as well. And then add another one of these. Here's a link for startup. Ooh, actually, let's not show that. <laughs> eh. It's okay. I don't think they can see it. Is there anyone to turn that off? Guess I just have to do that. That's okay. And another thing we can do with the piano is take the reverb one more. Sweet. We're going to take the decay. No, we'll take this one. And then we'll ramp up the reverb right before that piece. Right there. Then by doing that, it should add a bunch of tails. It's coming in too fast. Put it like right there. Yeah. That will work.
Need to eat. Get back in 2013. Dude, I just ate. I'm so full. I'll be here, though. See you, Netro. So to make this more interesting, instead of just looping the same little this thingy several times, we're going to take it, copy it, change it up just a little bit. There we go. Overload. What's up, dude? How's work going? Slacker. Then we can add a nice little boom, 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 boom bass. And we'll actually automate that as well, the little uh, voice pluck I have. Yep, yeah, that's it. We'll do another low pass filter, or a high pass filter, with no, what is that called? Resonance, yeah. Because it just sounds, it just kind of hurts your ears if you put too much on. There we go. Should have the build up start here, maybe? Yeah, because we gotta keep the energy going. Yeah. I'll have a clap come in. So, ch 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 typical EDM stuff. Not here. I like that one. Let me lower that one because it's a little loud. We'll have that build up just, yeah, just to there. So create automation. And typically for me, I like to put the claps or the automation clips right below the pattern that I'm using clap filter because sometimes I just get so many of these you, you lose track of which one's which there we go we'll have this go to doubles so ch -ch 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 -ch. And I'll also take the pitch on the clap and I'll raise that as well. So I'll take this to about 24, create another octave. It's now hosting. Yo, Kaluminati EDM. Ah, it's a dope name. What's up, dude? Thanks, Overload, for the host. <coughs> Sweet. 
<laughs> I've never seen that monkey face before. His name is Old LMAO. My new alias is Archon. Okay, that's pretty dope too. We'll have that cut halfway. Give that break for the drop. And then... Which one's that one? That's the piano filter. See, I've already lost track of which one's which. This is the piano. Cut off. And you actually pronounced it right the first time. Archon? Did I say Archon? People used to say Arkin. Oh, you know, honestly, as soon as I saw it, I thought of Archer, the TV series. So I just kind of went with that. That's good. Glad I pronounced it right. That is the wrong one. Oop, here we go. Not a fan of this bass line. <laughs> Future trap, dude. I've experimented, it's rough. All the automation that takes with those, dude, it's insane. Wanna hear it? Sure. If you wanna send me a link, I'm down. I think I need to do something with this. We'll clone this. And then we'll just take the ending. Chop that into four. And then we'll scale it down. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there we go. A little bit too much scaling. I see you though, reading the chat rules, Kaluminati. I mean, Archon. Oh, uh, I feel like that should be an eighth. There we go. So now, if we scale all of that, it should be a little bit smoother. I like that. It's better. I like that. It's better. Still think that. Let's see. Piano. No, that's right. Maybe I need to increase the highs. There we go. And then we'll just go ahead and do the exact same thing with this one. We need to increase the decay on the reverb because it's not trailing enough. Uh, it's not reverb. And that'd be this one. That's what I wanted right there. Well, 
also filter that in too. That one is that one. And that is background saw. Filter. And we'll filter that from here to there. Not the ending though. We'll just keep it like that. So there's that. Now let's add like a funky bass line. So that's what I had. Let's just take that from scratch. spread out the unison this just makes it so basically unison takes it from one thing like one saw wave to like several spread out as you can see right there in this little graph in this area so unison actually spreads out the sound to make it sound like this it's a very popular tool in stereo width to make your sounds much wider I want to make this like a pluck. So I'm going to lower the decay and sustain. That's what it is. Basically with this song, I'm trying to put a lot of emphasis on the one, two, three, four, especially with the kick drum. And what I'm going to do to help myself get a nice little bass line is do the bass line with Ghost Notes enabled in FL Studio. So that way I can actually like go along with it. So E, B, and G. Oop. All right, now let's make that sound a little bit more interesting. Distortion for sure. And then, just like uh, 
Archon, uh, Kaluminati, Future Bass, you can kind of automate everything and just kind of make it sound futuristic. <laughs> And I'm just going to off-center these because that sounds kind of weird right now. <laughs> Just lurking it on Facebook. Nice, nice. I don't want to be at work. Dude, I'm telling you, recently it's been so bad. Like, I've just not been wanting to go to work either. Sounding pretty good? Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Slowly but surely. What time do you get out? You never said that. So one thing that I can complain about Serum with FL Studio is that you can't automate where these dots are, unfortunately. Like if I could, I'd automate this to go from here to go up. Just a little something, but... digging this sound right now. So in case you don't know what I'm doing, right now I'm just going through whatever these are, warping patterns I guess. I'm just kind of playing with the sound. See how that sounds together.
Uh oh, my sound stopped. What happened? Ah, filter was on. Not digging the sound yet. Um, let's take the remapping off. Take this off. Maybe it's just the square wave I'm working with. Hmm. Let's go for a solid bass, see what that does. Because it seems like these are not giving us any luck. Init, por favor. And we're going to go back to this pattern because this already has a bass line. Let's break these up because we're no longer going with that sort of chain. Let's go for like a motivational uprising bass. And we can also add the peak controller onto here, which will give us side chaining, which might sound a little bit better. Let's try the square wave again just because I like hearing it as a bass. And okay, it's got a little bit too much high, so we'll just cut off that ever so slightly. And what we have to do, because I'm using the same pattern for this and this, we'll have to clone this one. Um, keep that the way it is. No, actually, we'll change it. So this one is going to have my side chaining there. Why won't you go up? That's just going to make it sound a little bit mm, less full, more full. Because you don't want to side chain the piano. So I did it first, but it doesn't sound very good. None, please. <clears throat> I'm 
and basically Fruity Peak controller you can take that and link it to anything based off of a peak and LFO or peak and LFO I usually do just peak because then it just goes off the waveform of the kick and then if you set your bass volume here to whatever this one's set to 80 automatically change your volume to how you want it to control it so low volume more volume you take your decay amount so slow decay fast decay and as you can see here you can actually see the waveform of the kick it's pretty cool and you can see how it's operating on this We also got to clone this one too because it doesn't have our side chaining on it. Simple as that, just activate it a couple times. Now it's starting to come together. And to make this not so boring, we're going to copy it and change this one right here. And also to each of this, these bass lines here, I'm going to add a little bit of this to give it some flavor. Okay, so we have the intro, Oop. well we have the pre-intro, that's basically what every DJ uses to come into the song, so you can easily mix it, then you have your intro, straight into a build up, I didn't joke around on this one. Then you have your build up, and the drop. I want to add a delay on the O right here as well. So we're going to take this, find the little voice. There it is. Vocal. And let's put a delay on there that only activates whenever we automate it to. Set that to two steps because it goes dun 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 dun. Just like that. And then also, in case you didn't know this as well, in FL Studio, they set um, each pattern. Every time you create an automation clip, it creates an initial preset. So every time that you turn this on you hit play, it automatically turns it off. If you go here to Current Project, Patterns, Initialize Controls, and delete that, it won't do it anymore. So, just a little tidbit. And we're going to turn this on, actually off, here. Stay off to right here. Then it cuts off.
I'm also going to copy this one because I want to make another version where right there on the breakdown it goes dun 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 dun. Just like we did for the job. Just like that. A little bit too steep there. Change those to here. Yes, I like it. I dig it. So, this song here is actually for a fellow streamer. <clears throat> and he streams Mortal Kombat the most. So what I'm going to be doing is making the drop go f -f 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 fatality, just like every typical song. This one, I'll put it right there, yeah. Apply that to a new vocal. Oh, actually, instead of fatality, let's put fight. Just in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, here's what I'm doing. You guys can't hear that though. Let's do. No. Fight. That's all I'm looking for. Simple as that. And then the input fatality. Hey, I like your thinking. What's up, monster? How you doing, man? There it is. First one. Oh, that sounds awful, though. We're not going to use that one. Ooh, Mortal Kombat X. It's actually the game he plays. So if I can get fight... It's looking like the YouTube video is going to be the one we go with, I'm thinking. And if we do that, it's going to be that, but broken up into smaller bits, so chopped up. Fate, fate, not you. Fight! Holy Jesus. 
All right, so we're gonna cut a lot of this because we don't need half of that normalize. Jesus. Take this, lower the volume way down because that's way too loud. Four, 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 four. I like it. Then we're gonna go. Actually, we could have just low pass filtered it. That would have probably sounded better. We're gonna do that. So I actually go here and reset that. Delete the preset because it's just gonna keep going back to it. Give me that love filter. And actually, I want to shorten this up as well. I like that. Now we're going to take half a beat on here. Hey! What's up, EK Blad? Where is it? That's about as best as I can do. <laughs> Dude, FL Studio is my favorite program. I like that. All right. Which version? This one's 12.3, I believe. Tools. Yeah. 12.3 Appreciate it, Blood. EK, it's everyone. Actually, what's today? Today is Tuesday, 1.13? Yeah. I'm going to message him. Give me one sec, guys. So the guy I'm actually working on this for... Um, <laughs> he could watch this right now and tell me what he thinks. <clears throat> we'll see. This is basically going to be used for like an intro and outro credit roll. Just figured it'd be something fun to do. And he said he wanted specifically the Mortal Kombat sounds. So I was like, oh, of course, be easy. Actually, which one of these is the cutoff for the kick? Perfect. It's going to take this one. Because you don't want any kick yet until the drop. So, yeah, we'll lower this down to like there. Because we're going to add a kick drum in here too for the build up. We're going to take this, we're going to move a little bit closer. Kind of liked it where it was. There we go. Now we're going to take that and we're going to use OTT compressor 
and make that stand out a lot. We're going to compress this as well because it's a little quiet even though I have it turned all the way down. Jeez. Okay, maybe not compress it that much. It doesn't really need to be. It's like a 5-2. That'd be alright. Thinking we should up the lows. Alright, and here's where the kick comes in, and we want the low values on it. So from here, yeah, we'll go to like there. And this one I just have set up to a parametric EQ kick. There it is. So it lowers that. What did I do? I broke it at it. So addicted to Clash Royale. <laughs> Dude, a year I think I spent on that game. I spent so much time on that. Oh, don't even get me started. And I want to also add a bass roll too, right as the drop. The way I do that is take a three times oscillator, take a sine wave, apply that to a new channel as sub roll. About to be Arena 7. Just started playing yesterday. Already 1800 score. Jesus, dude. You're talking like the trophies or whatever? It's insane. Oh, uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. And sub roll. Do it right there. Sorry if you have subs at home. Really sorry. So, <laughs> don't judge. Actually, for this here, uh, yeah, for this I also want to add a high note alternating every half beat. So this will do this. I don't usually do this unless I'm drunk or high, but I'm both right now. Got me talking about my life. <laughs> I thought you were really about to come out. I was like, oh snap, it's about to go down in DN Bros chat. Not digging that one. On pattern three, we basically have to copy the exact same thing we did here. I get most of them onto here. One 
Vamos lá. <laughs> let's take that breakdown and let's do something with it because it's kind of dry. Also, um, EK Blad, I don't know if you're still in here, dude. You could actually help me out. <laughs> what is this right down here? It says stereo separation. This goes to mono. This goes to like wider in the in the aerial spectrum. Um, does it actually do anything good? Because every time I use it, it just kind of like messes messes things up. In all honesty, this was Phil. We're actually going to compress this a little bit. Reverb, I need you in my life. vocal here I'm gonna add side chaining to it just to make it really pump on the drop pump 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 it up also we're gonna increase the gain on that it's sounding kind of low holy Jesus there you go <laughs> and what is wrong with this? It sounds so it sounds loud. Let's see, where is my filter in here? There it is. It's all the way up. Oh, the resonance? Is that up? Because that'll increase it. It's not. And what we're going to do here is on this section. Is that the same? Yeah, we're going to have to clone that. This will increase the energy on the actual drop itself. If we go like that, do fours, it's going to be nice. Also, something else I want to do, we're going to add another three times the oscillator, and this is going to be a riser. So we're going to do a nice little sine wave to here. Yeah. That'll work. Add the love filter? Yeah. And a lot of reverb. Gots to have the reverb. Reverb first. A little bit of resonance, just because I don't mind with this. Let's 
So create auto automation clip, increase the decay on this one, and we're also going to get rid of the dry. There we go. And just like the sub roll, we're going to do the exact same thing. Make a nice little slide. Really quiet. Hello? Is anybody out there? All right. Compress. Sounds like the aliens are coming. Oh, love filter. That's why. Very sorry. <laughs> All right, let's do this so that doesn't happen again. Holy. Mute your ear holes. Am I ever down for collabs? Always, dude. Actually, we gotta make this longer. Eight bars. Yeah, dude, if you really wanna do something, send me a link. Let's, uh, I wanna check out your stuff. Actually, you already did. Um, but yes, I'm always down for collabs. I like it. And then also, I have no white noise. Throw me in there. Yo, monster. Throwing out that album, Red Fire Truck. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Another three times oscillator. White noise. I thought I did this already. I did. What? All right, this isn't making sense now. Okay. White. Mm, I guess I didn't. Let's do love filter. My mind's telling me no. But this song, yeah, this song is telling me yeah, yeah. White. There she is. And just like the sub roll and the riser, instead of doing a full whatever I did, where I looped it and made it slide up, I'm just going to do one nice little bar. And this shows that it's a slide. I did not pick that. The slide life picked me. Let's do this. Do I sing or rap? Yes. Actually, I do. Let's listen to my latest song, guys. Let's plug that in here. 68. Yeah. Save this. We'll come back. I gotta go to the bathroom anyways. And while this is playing, that gives me the opportunity to... Since I have a, a lovely voice, I can picture like a you sitting there with a little teacup. A lovely voice, darling. I can do it all. Dude, let's do it. So here's my last song. This one's called Not Alone. Available on SoundCloud, YouTube, Reverb Nation for some reason. Check it out. I'll be back.
Alright, I can't play that one. Sorry, I ruined it. Um, I gotta play the stims. Since I'm streaming, my CPU is at too high of usage. 73, 46. It was probably all the way to 100, to be honest. Rip. I wore that sweatshirt to the Jimmy City, Dude. <laughs> You're not alone, Kaluminati. We're here for you. But this sweatshirt is my favorite sweatshirt, believe it or not. I wear this thing almost every time it gets cold. Waiting. I'm still waiting. I have no body of my own. <laughs> there we go. Back to the drop. Brace your ears. I am not a lie, I'm 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 not a Alright, that's all I'm showing. If you want to check out the rest of it, soundcloud.com slash dnbro. Where were we at? Brock Song. No. Sugar Daddy. <laughs> Quick question. Quick answer. If you were a goldfish, what would your name be? I would say Nemo, because my arm's a little... <laughs> no, that was the first thing that popped up in my head. I don't really know. Drowny? <laughs> You're in the water, you can't drown, dude. Oh wait, who? Flipper, nice. Flint. That's the point. <laughs> Bob Ross Kappa. So what we want is, now I want a down sweep. So I have the up sweep. You know, we're turning up, you feel? Yeah. Now I want a down sweep. I saw, dude. Hey, it's not Sports Connect. <laughs> I'm glad you actually used that. I came at just the right time. Dude, listen. You ready for it? All right. I'm not going to touch the speakers. You adjust how you need to and just check it out. Oh, uh, just a quick background. Sports Connect, this is actually who this song is for.
So, what do you think so far? I actually have to change a couple of things. I also want to make the kick drum raise as well. So it, the pitch on it just goes just like that. And I'm going to do that for that as well. Automation. Sounds really good. I like it. I love the additional fight. Yeah. What's up, Mo? Tell Mo I said hello, unless he can hear me. Uh, Monster J20, Joe? Sports Connect. He's actually one of the guys that I work with. Uh, Sports Brock. Monster J20 is actually one of my Indiana buddies. That I used to be really good friends with. Still am. <clears throat> okay, risers and sub bases here. Kick pitch envelope goes here. Can the fight be louder? It can. Actually, look how quiet this thing is. Is that it? Yeah. Sounded weird, but here. Fight. Fight. Oops. That kick is still really, you know, up there. 50. Yeah. And because the kick is going to be repeating like that, we want to lower the spectrum, raise the spectrum, so that sub bass doesn't activate. There we go. Let's go to like here. Oh, no. And then on that white noise, what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, side chaining to it. So instead of just going like, it goes. There we go. And then we're going to extend that out too, to be a full. <laughs> Appreciate it, dude. As long as you like it. I want to change that too. Boom, 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 boom. That's a weird sound. That's not even the right clap. Oh my gosh, it's been the wrong one the entire time. No, it's the right one. I'm changing that clap. I'm not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of it either. Yeah. 
Kind of sounds like, I don't know, crunching bones or something. Snap, snap, snap. I didn't like it. Sound packs, loud packs. Oh yeah, sorry if these are super loud, by the way. You know, mine has some nice ones. As I say that, I find one. I don't find a single one that I like. <laughs> That don't stop. Pop that. Not gonna finish that one. Actually, let's add that. That sounds nice. Oh yeah, I just turned it up, so you might want to adjust your volume too. Oof. Sorry. So it doesn't sound very good now, but if you do one of these, it's going to add parametric EQ, limiter, panomatic, then you add some reverb, it's going to sound a little bit better. I actually think it'd be better with a clap instead. I'm not digging the snare either. Let's take that snare, let's add a clap. So over your head. <laughs> it's really not that difficult. Like in all honesty, you'd be able to get this pretty easily. And even Joe Wood and I mean uh it's super easy. So you have a sound, just to just to just to lay out the basics for you. This right here is one sound, this little bar. You take that sound, you can add effects in one of these. You have ten slots where you can add whatever it is that you want to add to it for effects. Um and then you take that sound and you lower the volume, up, down, left, or right. Just kidding, it's only up and down. And then that's it. I don't like that clap either. Give me a clap. Ooh, I like that. Could you explain panomatic? Actually, I could. Super simple. So called like that it is uh, let's do a simple instrument like the pianos that I have it on yeah so panomatic here here's all you have to it you have a volume knob changes the volume pan left or right right or left and then you have an LFO you can actually set below it to follow automatically and
pan automatic automatically pan and you can do that by hitting pan to go automatically left or right by itself or volume automatically up and down so if I do pan I set the speed to be faster and this is the amount from left to right then I just hit start here panning and I do a hundred percent amount it goes all the way over to the right all the way over to the left and you control that how fast with the speed and then you can do the exact same thing with volume here instead of going left and right it's just raising and lowering the volume really quick and then you, this right here just sets a wave to follow it by so you have your sine wave saw wave and square wave and that's it super simple this is just a nice little graph to show you where your instruments at and what level and then all I use this for is for side chaining through my peak controller so if we go to the drop and I open all this back up piano bass here ooh overload is streaming ooh uh, let's see where's that bass so here I have the bass panomatic and then I have my peak controller and then the peak controller just controls any knob like this one however it is that you want to change it and so I just have it side ducking I just have it ducking the volumes of every instrument which is basically the exact same thing that Romero's kickstart does for side chain. Got really quiet for some reason. Ooh, just have to go right back into that. <clears throat> I think we're almost done, to be honest. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. AM, AM crow. Am crow. Yeah, I gotta change a lot of this because you can tell from here. It's clear. It's nice. Flight. Yeah, time to start mixing. Um, now this is the part where it could kind of get a little bit. I wouldn't say over your head, but confused, uh, confusing. So now this piano is playing on the spectrum of 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz, and you kind of want to just control what hertz it's playing on pretty much. So the more you cut out, the more room there is for other instruments to you know, be loud in your mix. So because this one is a piano, I don't need like sub frequencies. As you can see right up over here, I just tried pointing at my screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you can see right here here's your low bass so sub frequencies and then bass is like your kick and everything else low mids, mids, upper mids uh, high pass and then treble I think it's high pass I don't know but because this is a piano I don't really need much bass I just kind of want some low mids and then some upper mids and to understand that just kind of you just kind of have to hear it you'll train your ears after a while Let me go back to here. Also for the kick, I have an automation clip here that actually automates the sub frequencies for the kick because I don't want it to be like boom, boom, boom right off the bat. So right now it's not going to have much bass. 
It's gonna have a little bit, but not like your normal amount of bass. And then as you can see, the automation kind of goes up, so it removes some, and then it adds everything back in right as the drop comes. Oh, you're hosting me again? Dude, you just got finished streaming or what? Yeah, fight though. I like it. Fight. Yeah, AM Crow, if you just want to like message me, I could definitely give you some pointers off of there. Um What's his name? Kiluminati messaged me earlier, so I'm gonna have to go through his song first, check it out, and then I'll definitely be able to look through yours. Be more than happy to. What type of music do you make? Is it like electronic music or hip hop or twat? Actually, that's kind of really annoying here. So what I'm going to do is to save myself a lot of frequency space, I'm going to shorten this up by that. Electronic, something like that. That's pretty much how I class my music. I don't really know what it is, but it's definitely something. This, I would say, is like tropical progressive. Definitely. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm making right now. It does sound nice, though. So. Actually, tropical drum and bass progressive. Maybe. I don't know. There's so many genres, it's, it's outrageous. So, <clears throat> now I'm going to add for the fight noise. Where is it at? Is this it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to raise up the pitch. Same way I did the snare and the kick. So that way what it does, yeah, I need both of these. As it kind of goes up with it, f -f 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 fight. I can already picture Mo laughing at me right now. Okay. Now it should sound something like this. Fight. You can't tell me that doesn't sound nice. <laughs> Dude, I'm liking this. Actually, if you don't mind, I kind of want to put this on my next album that I release. Thanks, Sam Crow. I'll either message you later or I'll probably view it on stream. We'll see. Uh, how can I clear last messages? Hmm. Let's just do that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, sports. If you could figure out how to not display messages in my chat. Uh. I actually don't know how to stop that. Time for Google. I don't know what to do. I wouldn't time you out. Not ignore. I don't know. Yeah, 
No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, well, Amcrow did not mean to. Whoops. I think we'll just go right back into that. So basically, copy pasta. Yeah, Amcrow. I didn't mean to time you out. I was just trying to hide that one message. So that way when I post this to YouTube, people still can't get to it. That was my main objective. Alright, now we're also going to add the white noise here, back to here. Let's see, how to delete single messages while well, that's playing. Why did it get so quiet towards the end? What changed? Nothing changed. Allows you to disable whispers on screen. I might have to do that. Cap chat insulation. Is that for your browser? Okay, no. It's an insulation. Damn, that means I'll have to stop streaming. Well, next time I stream, I'll definitely use that. So. Also, I'm gonna buy that capture card here soon. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay. Yep. We got to find a way to uh, stop that. Better Twitch TV. I thought I was actually using that. Jesus, Jerry. <laughs> Uh, screw it. Whatever. It's not going to work right now. Put that to the side for later. It can hide it as well. BT is a browser extension. Oh, I can get that real quick. Yeah. So take seconds. You guys listen to this.
Yeah, there needs to be some mastering done here because it's very crowded. So from the bass line. I got gotcha. you. I actually can't even find it right now. The extension. So, kind of stuck on that. Pretty sure uh, Acro hates me though. M Crow. So, piano. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to get rid of a single message. I mean, I don't know. Good to hear. Oh, wait, I think I know what's going on. So just like I explained to Ac Am Crow, this is messing up the vocals. That's why it probably sounds so quiet. Um, how can we fix this? So that vocal's too quiet. Eh. And my lead side chaining is not working. Okay, good. <laughs> 100 seconds. I just realized too, that same snare, I never switched over. I might want some hats. So if we take this 10 and we clone that, get rid of all these, take those.
And then we're gonna make some hats. So boom. <laughs> I do have a piano, so why is that like that? It's just two hats. And that's on 17. So we take all these to channel 17 to route them and mix them. So now each one's going to come through this channel, which I can add effects to, and automate the volume. And it sounds really dry, so I'm going to add some reverb. So now we have this. What I kind of want to do also is this. So by setting this in the settings, this is the hi-hat. By taking that and making it so that way the sample itself cuts itself, right here, I can then go into the uh, piano roll and every time that it hits this note, which has a velocity of zero so it won't play anything it'll just cut it so hopefully it sounds better holy cow this is so fast paced and upbeat I wasn't digging it. <laughs> How did you get those mixer channels in channel rack? So, um, you can just do this where you take make sure I got that right how did you get those mixer channels in channel rack view mixer this is a channel no it's an insert could it be because you have different FO studio edition maybe if you're talking about like the look of it definitely because they had a huge remake from FL studio whatever this is 12 to like the 10 so if you have this look then you have FL Studio old. Yeah, the new one looks completely different. And this is actually the one I grew up on, making most of my songs. And then switching over to this was super weird. How'd you get those mixer channels? I think that's what you're talking about. I mean, there, there are channel rack numbers to set it in Mixer. Talking about these right here? Target Mixer track? That's what it says up there? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. If you double click, it opens up to it. No, I mean, 
these channel rack numbers to set it in Mixer? Possibly. Could mean because you don't have a version. Um, also, I think opening it up and expanding it like this and having different views. So if you go to should be a view option around here that allows you to hide these and these could be I'm confused though Madness, Jesus. I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it anywhere. It's a good question. I couldn't find it either. Maybe it's in file settings? Make it pretty. <laughs> Interesting. Entertain me. Actually, let's try that. Animations. But it could very well just be in here. somewhere because also I have a 1920 by 1200 screen so it's going to show a lot more than like a 1366 by 768 screen Alright, I think the side chaining I have on my vocal here is just going to be ruined, so I'm just going to take it off. Fight. Much better. <coughs> and by the way, I've started in Info Studio 9 or maybe 8, but haven't done anything much in it. Yeah, It's really the same all throughout the versions. The only thing that changes is like the UI, the look of it. That's about it. Oh, what are these doing over there? Now there should be a way to lock that so it doesn't move anymore. Lock. Yeah. So now I can't accidentally move these. <clears throat> and I just undid what I just did. With the night dev, if you're using OBS Studio with the browser plugin, you just have to add a source. With the night dev. Once I get it, I'll try and figure it out and see what's going on. But as of right now, I'm just going to continue on. So if you message me, just take into effect. Your messages will be in the chat. So live. Right. Oh yeah, and a quick way to rename these is just F2. I think it's just like the same in Windows. So because this is a crash, I don't need like any sub bass whatsoever in this. Maybe some upper mids and some high pass, that's it.
And I don't know if you guys can tell, but in my headphones, the crash is kind of like on the right side. So by taking this here, just to the left, it should sound more centered. There we go. And so this one we did fight. The yeah, next one should be Fatality. Did I download that one already? I think I did. Fa fatality. There it is. Fatality. And then also, um, instead of taking this and then rolling it through whichever one I want to select, if you just have the... What is this called? Whatever this is called, the actual settings for the sound, and you press Control L, it automatically sorts it into the next mixer track that's available. Just helps improve how fast you can do everything. So this one's Fatality. I'm going to take out the sub because we don't need any of it. Low mids. Just because low mids in a voice gives it more character. And I forgot to put it in the playlist. So we're going to take Fatality. Drag it in. Fatality. I want it to be like fatality. T T. Have you ever tried to split some sounds on left and right side? Some people say that it gives a nice effect, but I don't really like it. Yeah. If you're t if you're thinking like what I'm thinking, if you're talking what I'm talking, saying what I'm saying, like the the panning. All the way to the left, I hardly ever do that. So, like, let's do for example this. If we take this drop, we have the nice little hi hat. Like, all the way to the left hand side. It just, it just kind of like weighs, like, to me, it weighs down the song and like makes it more towards one side, which I don't like. So, I just kind of keep them everything centered. And then, the stereo separation, as you can see down here, I make it so that way the highs are in the sides. So this background saw, which is going to be this one, is like all highs and split as far apart as possible. So the stereo separation is all the way out to 100% on each side, so it shouldn't be in the center. And you can really hear the difference as you twist it. But as for the left and right panning, I don't do too much of it. I know some people do, and it adds like some flavor to it, but... Wish you had a friend, jerk skater. We'll be your friends. You can come chill with us. Fatality. So vocal is eight. This one, I already know which one I want it on, so eight. Whoa, what in the world? LOL. <laughs> okay, so there's a delay. Oh, I see it. So, fatality on the T. I want it to echo on this delay that I have. So, change this a couple steps forward. There we go. Fatality. Yes, yes. All right, from the top now. <laughs> well, from the second verse.
Yes. Oof, sounds so crisp, so clean. Actually, I don't like the piano. There's not enough highs on it. Oh, should I layer that some more? What about just the top layer? So G to another G. Ah, let's do that, but let's only do it for the second drop. So I'll take this, I'll clone it again. Right to there, get rid of that. Douche. Take the top four, G. Next one is A. No, E. Did I go that high? I guess I do. And G. No, I don't go that high. E. 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 All right. Then for this one, what we're going to do is copy pasta, all that. Pattern four, we're going to pasta it and just basically do this one because we're not lazy. We ain't no lazy fools. And then these I had panning down, so we gotta go right like that. What is that? What is it? What? Are, what are you doing in my swamp? Okay, every time on the piano, it gets super quiet, like halfway through the drop. It's really confusing. So I hear it sounds good. It's it quieter, I think. Or am I just going insane? Maybe it's this. Then we want to bring it right back into here. Yeah, this is what we want. Bear with me. Oh, shoot. Shoot. No. So instead of going to the little break beat that we have, the little... It's going to go from there to here. But instead of some vocal chops and... Whatever this piano is, we're going to change those instruments. So first, let's clean this up. You? Do we use you? 
No, we will. Clap. Mm -mm. Not feeling it. What is this? It's a white noise I was going to add, but I realized I already had some. So now... Give me some Pong. Well, just put... <laughs> Dude, if you need any tips on how to use it, just let me know. I got you, bro. What are you going to be recording? And basically what I just did was I just copied the vocal patch that I had, this right here, and placed it in a new pattern on a different instrument. Fair enough. And by doing that, allows us to customize this. We're going to grow the YouTube channel and Twitch channel. Hey, dude, vlogging is so much fun, man. You're going to love it. <clears throat> I will for sure watch the vlogs. All right. What I want is for you to stop playing. Hero 5, nice. Best one, dude. So you're going to vlog completely with the GoPro? Because, like, some people don't like it. It's just, like, the... Well, actually, you can change the settings, so never mind. You'll be all right. Um, I know some people get the motion sickness from it being so wide and, like, wide angle. Some people, though. Just helping you out. Letting you know. Not helping you out. I'm letting you know. Yeah. Notch. That's what I want. No, not notch. Peak. Resonance. May swap. Try it. I mean, that'd be the best one because then you could literally take it everywhere. And you can set the view, like the viewing angle from super wide to, you know, normal to where it's not as bad. And the audio on the Hero 5 is the best. So you, you pretty much picked a good one. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Hero five, let me guess. Three Give me that saw, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, but my hands go up. And they stay there. <laughs> All right, so now we want this. Let me see what I'm making so far. I got you, Groob. Here we go. So because it repeats, I'll probably just play up to like here. But here's the track. And actually, this song is for Sports Connect, who's in the chat here. It's for his Twitch channel. Hey, Netro, just in time. 
This song has come a long way. Most likely. Uh, La Billy. What? It's, <laughs> it's La Billy. Yeah, I probably will. Pretty dry. Yeah, I can see that. It's not really like mixed or mastered at all. This is just the producing section of it. And the kick itself should come out later on. I'm usually never good at getting it, you know, fine right now. It'll take some time. I'll get it though. Now we're on this section. I guess you would say this is just like the putting it all together and making noises type of deal. And then I'll come back and officially mix and master everything afterwards. But 160 is too fast for me? Dude, <laughs> I thought it was way too fast this entire time. But it is drum and bass, so just gotta stick through. Oh, and if you're talking right there too, like this section, there's definitely no kick whatsoever. I have um a parametric EQ set on the kick to cut out all lower frequencies. I see what you mean. Um, let's see, kick. So right here in the song, I have everything from 100 cut down. So that could be why you're not feeling much. Yeah, I only wanted bass for the drop here. Only because it's not made for like an actual song. It's just like a, uh, what would you call it? I guess credits. Credit song? Nice. Lay Billy. La Billy. I have yet to do any future house. Even though this is kind of like tropical something. This is the first time I've ever made anything past 140. It's so bad. Yeah, I've only been producing for a little over six years now. Uh, SoundCloud is www. 
soundcloud.com slash dnbrew. I guess I could link that in one of my little pictures below. Thanks, little Billy. Just got the notification. Nice. You know where I'll be. Right here, mate. Right here. And love filter. On these beautiful paws. I mean, saws. Sup, Tori. Tor you. It'd be it'd be funny if you had yeet Tor Yeet. Alright, this is going all out and getting crazy with it. Dude, I'm telling you, it gets so bad. I'll just be chilling at work and I'm just like, God, I want to make some music. No, it's not like that, but, you know. There's like moments especially whenever you have like a really good idea and it's just like it's in your head and you're like oh this sounds great I just want to put it out and then like three hours go by you get home and you're like what was I thinking about? I actually like this. I'm going to add another uh, love filter on that. I'm going to make it progress through the track. Get it? Progressive house. tracked in two but I have to master it better so it can't be released yet yep I was just sitting on a track for like uh, what was it last time I streamed so August 17th no okay that can't be right it was like January or something or like maybe not January what am I saying god November I was sitting on a track since November that I wanted to get out and I just released it
All right, I want to extend this last last s s section out. There we go. Copy, pasty. Love me some nice poster. Yee. Yeah. And we're gonna copy pasta this. Let's see, it's gonna go right here. No! Oh yeah, on FL Studio, this is my biggest pet peeve. Whenever you copy paste something, it goes like, what is that? Not a sixth, is it a fourth? A fourth of the beat, forward. So when I have beat as my quantization selected, it just, it interrupts the workflow, let's put it that way. So now, Copy the whole thing. I feel like just leaving all of this here. Of course, I gotta go back through and requantize it. Here we go. I think that kick has to come back in one step sooner. Get rid of that. Thank you, Amcrow. I have been looking for that shortcut for so long now. You do not understand, dude. Nobody seemed to have it. Jesus. Thank you. That actually will really help me. Thanks to the boy and crow, or girl, whoever he or she may be. Kind of sounds something no copyright soundsy? Really? I've actually never even... No copyright soundsy. Oh, like the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, it could. Very well could. Sorry, I didn't even see that comment. Uh, Netro, this vocal chop. I think I gave it to you, not even gonna lie. In that collab that we did, it's my voice. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Unlike mastered or mixed or anything. Ah. Uh. And then just that, and then just chopped. Not like that, though.
pretty sure I gave that to you on our uh, remix that we did. Oh, these are the saws. I don't want those. I want piano. Give me my piano. It's my piano. And I need it now. Control B. Please tell me that is what um, that is what copies it right there where the end of like the the copied section is. So if I hit Control C, Control B. Oh my Jesus, dude! I've been looking for that one as well. Jesus. All right, Control C, Control B. <sighs> so if I take the entire thing, Control C, Control B. Oof, my boy. And yeah, I have this little guy. M audio. Yeah, that is what I use in the build up. I well actually no, sorry. I used um I used the original vocal sample and I just chopped like a random section of it. I didn't actually have this one. Just mark it. And then control B. Oh, it's even better, dude. <laughs> God, I'm learning all sorts of tricks today. All right. Now, an easy way to transfer this. No, I will not do that. Let's just do this. In case you didn't know, you hold shift and you press the arrow keys up or down on a highlighted section. That'll move it up and down the uh, list. Oof. Maybe I taught you something. I don't know. I'm back. What's up, La Billy? What'd you think, man? And or you can just click one pattern and not mark all of it. Don't lie to me. You like that? No, we need that one. Dang. <laughs> so close. Alright, Brock, here we go. It's two fifty two, you got plenty of time. FL Studio 12, Giovanni. Appreciate that, Billy. Why not, dude? I'm always down for a collab. Here we go, Brock. I'm going to add the thank you for watching Sports Connect here.
And I'm gonna filter these out so it just silently goes black. That's all. That's all I got so far. But, uh, La Billy, if you do, uh, message me. I uh, don't. Uh, yeah, you could whisper. Yeah, just whisper me a link for your stuff. And then we can just go off of there. Okay, so here I want to add filter for the piano. And I want to copy this. Probably taking forever on this. Sounds great, man. Loving it so far. Good. It's only going to get better from here, mine. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, once I mix and master it, just like everybody else was saying above, the kick should sound more pronounced. It should sound much uh, cleaner and crisper. And then also, uh, just overall, a better sound. Forgot how to whisper? Uh. I need to just click on my profile and hit whisper from the profile. Okay. 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 Drugs are bad. Okay. <laughs> Do not judge me, M. Crow. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me, M. Crow. Yeah, always for your ability. Hello. Did I just do it? I don't know if I did. SoundCloud link? www.soundcloud.com slash dnbrew. Did I spell that right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to add one of those little pictures down below. And lability. What? Okay, I guess I don't know how to uh, whisper. Well, there's that. How does that happen? Let's see, settings. Ah, there we go. It's a la Billy. Yeah, no, I haven't sent it yet. There you go. Not judging, I'm just pointing it out. Well, you know what? Enough of that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah.
You know what? Ever since... Who said it? Who said it? Lowe's Music mentioned that this was like copyright sounds. I honestly have not stopped thinking about that since. I uh, sent you a message, little Billy. Yo, thanks, Tori. Tori Yee. All right, let's listen to it. While we're listening to it for the final time, I will uh, I'll try and whisper you. Here's what I got so far, boys. There you go. <laughs> you got it. Actually, real quick, I want to change this, too. So this is peaking at a bad time. Where is it at? Here we go. It's because of this. I don't like that. I mean, we will see messages anyways. You guys will. <laughs> in here. You won't see it in the actual chat. It's all about... I don't know. Don't judge me. One of you. Don't they just have like a peak? They do. Yas. 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 Perfect. I'll hear it out and then I'm out. I gotta go pro play with. Alright, boy. Here we go. I better see some footage tonight. No, I like Future House. Thanks for the follow, Torye. There you go, Brock. Enjoy that GoPro, dude. Ooh. Yeah, I'm talking. But yeah, I do agree with you. The The vocal itself is kind of like... It repeats. And the piano.
appreciate that, little Billy. <laughs> See you, Brock. Adios. Goodbye, my friend. You have a nice day. Come again. Yeah, it does kind of repeat. So I do want to keep it for the intro, which is here. Right. Okay, drop. Drop. Here. Yeah, I can definitely remove it from there. I wonder if I can just put the saws in there. Vocal notes in the build up into the drop. Right. Ah, uh, I gotcha. And Labilly, um, once I finish this song, I got like two or three other people I gotta check out their songs and give some accredited advice. First is uh, something Illuminati or Archer, Anchor, something like that. Uh, I gotta check out his music. And then I got Amcrow, and then I got Labilly. Yeah, I do agree with you though. Maybe I gotta change up those vocal notes. Okay, so that's what I had before. With the third. I think I can just do like an OTT on it. Because OTT sounds great. Why do you do that? Actually, I have the vocal set to be mono. Why is it doing that? Oh, I have a compressor after the reverb. That's a big no-no. There we go. Actually, I haven't done anything to the vocal yet. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, once again, this isn't mixed or mastered or anything. It's just getting the sound down, I guess. Cheeky bit of OTT, eh? I see you here with some cheeky bit of OTT. Did I put the LTT back on the wrong track? Oh no, the delay is on, that's why. Let's take you out of here. Try to EQ some more high freak. Hey, don't call my vocal a freak, please. So that way, if we do that, that means I want to add on the sidechain as well. Spicy that is. Don't know how this is going to sound, but we're going to find out. Fight. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, uh, that whole, whoa. So it turns out there's a flaw with my panomatic strategy of side chaining. What about raising it up a whole octave? YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash dnbrew I think that'll take me to it. Yeah, there he is. There I am. I think I just have to take the side chaining off. Yo, thanks, La Billy. needs to be taken back it's like repeating too much it's too much you're too much my friend you're too much that's not what I want ah perfect Dun, 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 dun. Kind of iffy on it. I don't know yet. All right, let's check it out. I gotta change this door though. Open it up. It's getting hot.
And yeah, that'll be right. Oh man, that means the sun's gone. You have no sun. It's like three o'clock for me now. It's as warm as it's gonna get today. I live in Florida, of the USA. It's always hot down here. It's like, uh, 70 degrees right now. <laughs> yeah, 70 degrees outside. And it's January. <laughs> um trying to think actually you know what no we'll cut that out we'll add this in there and then for the second section we'll add we'll leave it the way it was <laughs> chiming down with the windows down dude oh, it's it's I don't know it's okay. Then once the summer comes, it's just ridiculously hot. Winter times, it's alright though. What do you think of this? If you're still here, Brock, what do you think of this vocal chop for the job? <laughs> Negative four. Oh. Yeah, unless I can come up with anything else for that, which I'll probably play around with some different patterns. I'm not really going to change it. I like it. Um, but negative four degrees, that's how it used to be where I used to live. Like right now, I'd probably be in negative, I think with wind chill, like negative 14 degrees. Southwest, which are Croatia. Holy cow. I always play racing games in Croatia. Nice. I think I'm pretty much done. Besides a bunch of mixing and mastering. Which. Um, who is it? Torre? No, it wasn't Torre. Yeah, it is Torre. Like Torre said, probably like a couple weeks before that gets finished. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Actually, did you guys hear that? With each of these vocal chops, there's a... The lower...
The OTT is to blame. Interesting. Still there. Just get them cheeky cheap auto compressing and mastering plugins. Nah. Nah. I'd rather learn everything myself, to be honest. Back. Sup, Torye. Alright. I think this might be the final listen. Yeah, Maximus is good. And then this is something I had the last time. For watching Sports Connect. May have to make a new one. They don't have a speech synthesizer here, do they? Hmm. Bare Sunday. Uh oh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's a different language. Let's see. Mm -mm. Alright, so this is 160.
kicking it back to old school. Thank you for watching Sports Connect. An ASMR track? <laughs> hey. I can see that working. I may just have to use my own voice because I don't really like these. Yeah, a little ASMR track. You just, I mean, you just have to work a lot on the samples more or less rather than a, uh, like the beat. Actually, that'd probably be a lot of fun because all you're doing is just doing like random noises. <laughs> Some whispering and then full on ear destroyage. That could work. What you want to do is you want to make, you want to master the quiet sections like negative twenty dBs below, so they really turn up their volume, and it's like more than normal, and they know it, but they don't know it's going to get really loud. And then you just, <laughs> that'd be insane. Ooh, I'll take that, Torier. I will definitely message you for any feedback. Thank you. Thank you for watching Sports, Sports Connect. Connect. You can do the same though too. I got you. And actually I might start looking at some of these songs now. Let's see if I can get a I don't know if he's still in here. Killy Killuminati. Archon, he messaged me. No, he did not. He sent me a link in the chat, and the chat is now gone. <laughs> Alright, Torye. Didn't he ask to? No, it's uh, Amcrow. Yo, Amcrow, if you're still here and you can message me, bro, I will be more than happy to look at Oh, no, you did. Yeah, never mind. Do, 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 do. Shape of You Remix. Alright, we're going to have to change audio settings. I don't know if this will work. Yep, not until uh, next time I uh, stream. Shooks. Right after Amcro's La Billy, I got you. So we're gonna save that one. Ooh, I like it. Very tropical. Kick is very punchy. Digging this, I like this. Yeah. 
All good, Labilly. Very clear master, though. Very good. Amcrow, if you're still here, that was dope. Very clear master. And actually, unlike my songs, you actually have a clear, like, thick waveform that's not just over bloated. Like, look, I'll show you my last one. And it's something you do better than I do, which I have no clue how to do yet because mastering is not my forte. 68. No, I need a desktop. That, oh shoot, no, don't do that. So as you can see on my waveform here, see how it's like crushed? It's like destroyed, like <laughs> any values inside of it. What's up, Moken Bird? I think it's how you say it. Um, mine just kind of just gets destroyed. Where yours is still peaking at the kicks, it all sounds nice. When I just, I just compress mine to God knows how long. And just make it super loud. That's all that I do. A lot of crash. Yes. Very much so, dude. <laughs> I destroy my waveforms. Um, but you, you keep yours nice and tight. The only thing I would say I would change is um, your side chaining. There was one tiny little snare that kind of just popped in your ear. Can't find it. Lots of crush. I can't hear it now. Yeah, I don't know. I lost it. Actually, very good. I really do like this one. Amcrow, super good. And I drew out your name. <laughs> Alright. La Billy. Here's your track. Guess we can get rid of that. Oof, a little loud. Hold on. Definitely Future House. I feel the Future House vibes. And you're just like me, crushing the waveforms. Digging the bass line. 
Okay. This is La Billy's. Oh, I like this sound. Very nice. This is like festival music. You're out there like dancing in a field. <laughs> All massive? Yo, massive is great. Yeah, only thing that you have to do is master. You got it though. Very good. As actually, this is something I could definitely see at like uh, a club or like a festival. It's very good. Um, this one I could also see at like a club and a festival. This one's more like chill. Like just I don't know. I could see them both at a festival, but this one's more chill. Um, this one itself is very angry. Uh, gets you pumped up, I would say. Overall, good mix, though. Um, this one, very good mix as well. I mean, you could bring it out a little bit more. As you can see, you have just a schmidge of room. And then you'll be good on that one. Poifecto. Very good. Um... Let's see. Anything else? What about Netro? Netro booming. Yeah. I don't understand how to get that decent wave. Yeah, me neither. Live song is more festive? It is. Uh, let's see. Did I get your message? No, I did not. Let me check SoundCloud. 
I'm pretty sure you um, messaged me your song on there. Checking now, Torye. There we are. Spire, what is that? Netro booming. So this is actually um, mine and Netro's collab that we're working on now. <laughs> Cat emoji. I didn't know you sent it on SoundCloud. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. This is gonna be so juiced up. Camel, dang. KRK Rocket Five or G Three? He's never even heard of a G Three. I will look at it now, though. The gospel, the grace, the glory—is that really what it is? No way. Okay, never mind. What's your opinions on KRK rockets? Rockets are nice. The Gen 3s. Yeah, these ones here. They're nice. Actually, a lot better than what I'm using now. I just have the pre Sonus. Five inch. These ones right here. These are what I have. They're okay. I would definitely say the Crockets are better though. Dang, nice. Let's see. Got the new plugins? No, I did not. So a lot of this is probably going to be sounding weird. Ooh, digging the kick drum. Yeah, this is going to sound way different, Metro, since I didn't get those uh, plugins yet. Let us find out. How many was it? I think it was only two, right? One, two, oh, it was three. All right, uno momento. So, Torye. While this is actually playing, I can go grab those plugins. Give me one second. BRB. Actually, we could do these. Will this play? No. There you go. BRB. Oh no, you have all your plugins running. No. Boom.
I was so close. <clears throat> what? It's still active. Oh, you netro. That one was actually my song, Tourier. That was my latest song that I just released, Not Alone. And those are my vocals as well. So, netro booming. You still have a preset selected on... Where is it at? On the free filter. Is that it? No. There it is. Pretty sure if I just delete that, it'll be all right. Should I risk it? Oh, nah, I'm not going to risk it. We'll just do a new one. So, Torye. Ooh, nice little intro music. <laughs> lyric A. You got a sub for lyric over here. Ooh. Beautiful. Holy. Okay, that was very nice. That was uh, my favorite part was the drop here. So you got this part. And it swoops out and it comes back in. Dun, 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 dun. Holy. That was that was a good one, very nice. Now I can tell that uh, the mix is there. Uh, I don't know what exactly this is. That snare, looks like your snare has a 
You can probably compress that just a tad bit without it sounding, uh, maybe. I, I haven't messed with it myself, but maybe try and compress that a little more. You can actually get the entire mix louder. That was basically it. What piano part up? Was it this part? Yeah, overall, sick track, dude. Very good. Really, there's not much I can say about it, just because I don't have much opinion. I just think that it's a great track overall. And then the snare thing. Whatever snare and whatever's on top of there are colliding, you could definitely get that mix a lot louder. Overall, sick track. And your bass is phenomenal. Bass is just, it's, it's, it's very pumpy, let's put it that way. I can't get my bass out good yet. Overall, though, 9 out of 10. Probably going to save this one for my music collection. Very dope, dude. Alright. Netro booming. Yeah. Am Crow. I definitely agree. The style itself is definitely my type of style. Oh yeah, Netro. Have you seen me load this yet? Like, everything's missing. And that's to be expected as well. <laughs> Lyric A. How do you submit a track? Uh, bacon Satan? Well, first of all, you have to bring bacon for everybody. And then you can submit a track. No, it's just you send me a link on SoundCloud or something. I'm just kind of peering at everybody. All right, let's check this guy out. Yeah, I don't even have this instrument. 
Yeah. Alright, maybe we can't work on this one until I get those plugins yet. Shucks. I'll have to download those first. Uh, what else can we work on? Brock song. I think I've pretty much done everything I could to this one. We can just mix and master it. And then once I get the um, the plugins for that song, then I'll come back in. I'll mess with it. You need to to get kit start. Yeah, dude, I do. Tourier. Definitely don't miss that plane. Yeah, now I definitely see what people are saying by dry <laughs> after listening to those. Oh, and actually, I can't mix and master on these headphones because they're just turtle beaches they're not that good so I know as soon as I do something to these I'm just gonna take them right back once I get to the monitors we can work on something else let's see what is this? I don't know what this song is Sounds the exact same. Oh, sorry for your eardrums. No, not that one. That was actually, I think, one of my first concept runs for his song. Oh, exactly. M. Crow. Neither am I. I mean, the 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 best thing you could probably do is just kind of, you know, sing it to your phone, and then once you get back in the studio, you pull out your phone again. And you're like playing it. Oh yeah, I remember what I was doing now. I've done that like once. Dude, this sound concept was so interesting. Let's look at this. Uh, sine wave with another sine wave FMing to it. It's so cool. Holy. Yeah, it's so interesting, dude. I was messing with that one the other day. Thank you. 
I think that may be it for today, boys. Yeah. I'm feeling kind of worn out now, making music. However, I will continue mastering this one, so hopefully we get it done finished done finish soon um, and this will be on Sports Connect's channel so if you guys I'll probably post it on my SoundCloud as well just because I do like it myself um, and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the strum the little strum I had here one last listen and then I'm out here Alright, that's it. And actually, I did have hats on the first one. And then I just didn't copy them over to the next drops. But, that's everything. Alright boys, I will probably stream again sometime here in the near future. And releasing a couple songs. So, follow me on the SoundCloud. On the YouTubes. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for staying. Peace out, bros. Bye-bye.